This is the first time the United States will be turning over rotary and fixed-wing aircraft to the Philippine Army, which activated an aviation regiment late last year as the ground forces intensify counterinsurgency operations. U.S. offering a dozen second-hand aircraft to the Philippine Army and R-1 Cobra attack helicopter. The Philippines will send teams to the United States next month to inspect helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft to be transferred to the ground forces under the Excess Defense Articles EDA, program of T. He U.S. State Department as Washington pours more military aid to its former colony and longtime security partner. This is the first time the U.S. will be turning over rotary and fixed-wing aircraft to the Philippine Army, which activated an aviation regiment late last year as the ground forces interns. IFY counterinsurgency operations to end the Maoist-led rebellion before the term of President Duterte ends in 2022. Washington has offered four R-60 Black Hawk combat utility helicopters, four R-1 Cobra attack helicopters and five twin-engine, turboprop C-12 Beechcraft planes for troop transport and medical evacuation, according to an army colonel familiar with the acquisition project but who declined to be named because he was not authorized to speak to the press. These are second-hand aircraft but are still operational, the army colonel told the Philippine Star. These are offered free but we have to shoulder the cost of some repairs and shipment of the aircraft. We will also spend for the armaments and avionics but these aircraft will certainly boost our capability. Quote. Before activating an aviation regiment, the army relied on the Philippine Air Force for transporting troops and supplies, evacuating frontline casualties and supporting ground operations. We could have acquired six C-12 planes for the army, but one plane went to the Philippine Navy, which is AL. So building up its aviation unit, the Army Colonel said, adding that naval aviation has two brand new Augusta Westland or 159 Wildcat anti-submarine helicopters. In the future, we will also be acquiring brand new light attack helicopters, armed reconnaissance helicopters and multi-purpose medium L. IFT helicopters. These assets will enable the Philippine Army to conduct a better array of aviation operations to support ground forces and be more responsive in the archipelagic setting in the defense posture, he added. The U.S. plans to spend over $200 million in 2020 to 2021 providing aircraft, training, equipment, and construction for the AFP, Armed Forces of the Philippines, and more than $45 million in FMF, foreign military financing, Loxon said at last week's Senate inquiry on the possible impact of the T. Manation of the VFA. He said the Duterte administration has received a total of $554.55 million in terms of security assistance from the U.S. from 2016 to 2019, including $267.75 million in foreign military financing for the procurement of defense articles. The AFP's current military equipment, assets and systems are largely patterned from and or provided by the U.S. Although there are criticisms that the U.S. is using the Philippines as a dumping ground for its obsolete and mothballed aircraft, vessels and other military equipment, Washington has now seen and the need to provide better and brand new equipment to its treaty ally to enhance its maritime domain awareness capability.